Anyway, we went down uh, and I stood in front of this loco um, and it was quite a sensation really, I haven't realised it. We're now 2009, I've not seen this engine since 1956. I'm being told that it had been scrapped, to, to find that it was here in one piece. Uh, Steve Woods made the magic word saying it ought to go to a preservation society. So, like an idiot, I said, uh, can I take it back to Bristol? And he said, well, come up with what you want to do with it. He said, and I'll think about it. And my wife is going mad now, you know, what are you going to do with a, a, a 20 tonne locomotive? And I said, of a sort of something. I then came to Bitton Railway, a man called David Coles, who immediately said, well, it's scrapped. Um, and I said, well, hardly, because here's photographs of it. There it is, all in one piece, complete engine, do you want it? So it was agreed that they would um, take the loco and give it a home, providing that I covered the cost to bring it back um, and the restoration costs as well. Uh, so that was sorted. So. Having written a book about Summerdale, I decided that the book sales would probably just about cover the cost of purchasing it and bringing the engine back. Having spoken to Cabman, he agreed to bring it back for a price which I told him was ridiculous, it was too cheap. But he insisted, and I said, well, I'm going to accept it. So that was that settled. Then I took a visit to Summerdale one day again, and a gentleman came down from the office, a chap called David Long, who was the chief engineer on the site. He asked about the Sentinel. You know, so I said, well, it, yeah, it's, it, it's there, I can have it. It's just a case of getting the money to bring it back. And he then invited me to ask him for the money, which I did. And so the Summerdale management, in effect, actually covered the purchase price, the haulage price, the craneage, and even the craneage to unload it back at Bitten with a stopover call at the factory for the weekend so the employees and local people could walk around the engine and, and see it again. I also got permission to bring it into the industrial boundary by going to the northwest corner and coming up on the side of A block, which is, runs alongside the old railway track, and I just thought it would be a nice thing to see the engine traversing back up through the roadways alongside the railway track that it worked all its work in life. Yeah. <laughs> and it arrived at Bitten and was duly unloaded and uh, restoration is well in progress. Uh, Jeff Clark had arranged for a, a group of volunteers at uh, Bitten to work and George Colburn is the uh, main man for me, uh, coordinator make sure the work progresses in an orderly fashion.